Hello everybody and welcome to MMO Mondays. Today I'm going to be doing long, I think that's how you say it. Everybody calls it long because it's L-O-O-N-G, but I think it's long is how you really pronounce it. Um, I played this game a long time ago. I love this game. The only problem is I had a problem with a hacker. They got into my account and uh... Yeah, they stole all my stuff, stole all my money, and I had to basically restart. I still have my old character, but I had to basically restart and get all my stuff back. But I changed up my password, and I haven't had a problem since. But since that happened, I was a little bit skeptical on this. But, um, yeah, Game Ago. This is a game by Game Ago. Uh, they locked down a lot of their stuff, and... It's almost impossible for hackers to get in anymore because they had a lot of problems with that and now it's like lockdown. So the game is safe now. <laughs> don't don't think it's not just because I'm saying all that. The game is safe. Uh, of course there will be, you know, your everyday hacker. There's always going to be someone trying to crack the code. But um, this game is really awesome. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump in. As you can see, just from the artwork and the uh, character style here, it, this game is really artsy. As why I'm saying that is, um, just from the title screen, as, as you saw, it was uh, like some Japanese crazy artwork. Um, inside the game, when you walk, there's like a paintbrush that goes around the area that you're doing it. It's very like based around art. It's like a story. Um, I mean, look at the moon and the clouds. It's, it looks like it's painted. You know, it's it's really beautiful. This game is really beautiful. Uh, it is very wushu. That like um, you can basically fly in the air. Uh, you can walk on water. Uh, you can jump extreme heights. Um, you know that kind of stuff. Now I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna do a character creation first, and then I'm gonna go ahead and jump back onto my main guy and show you all the uh, aspects mid game. I'm only level 44, but there is a uh, bunch of stuff, you know, already unlocked for me at that level. I mean, there's so much content in this game; it's ridiculous. Um, so let's go ahead and create. Alright, so this is the character creation. I hate when it does that. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Alright, uh, you got your two choices, of course, male or female. Um, we can go ahead and do male. You got your different hairstyles. Let me go ahead and zoom that in. There we go. Uh, whoa, buddy, calm down. Calm down a little bit. Calm down. Why did it go back out? All right, there we go. Got your. Why is it doing that? I don't get why it's doing that. Oh well, whatever. I guess it's having problems. Ah, uh, so you got your different hairstyles. Looks like there is five to choose from. Not that many. I do believe you can unlock some actually in game. Uh, you got your various hair colors, there's six of them. Uh, you got your various faces. Now it zooms in. What's that about? Uh, there's five faces. Uh, details. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is what's really cool the detail work on this. The mask, the little scars little makeup action I like to use uh, that 
or the mask depending on what uh, clothes I wear. I usually wear uh, that so it looks like uh, all blue straight out. That's why my guy was called the blue monk. He had the blue hair and everything. Um, or sometimes I go uh, ninja status. Bam, look at that. Pimmin! Alright, so in this game you get two different kinds of weapons. One's your main weapon and one's your offhand. Now, usually you can get skills in both, but usually you want to get the skills in your main hand. Don't worry about your offhand skills. The only thing you really want to do with offhand is stat boost. Um, that's how I play, and it works great. Um, so this shows you all the different kinds that you can have. You know, the sword. Now, of course, it's not going to look like that. This is like max level uh, stuff. Got your saber, and as you can see, the sword still sticks. So if I want, if I went sword saber, it would look like that. Like the sword and the saber will both uh, be on me in that way. My guy is a pole arm saber. That's a nice pole arm. Uh, what else we got? We got bow. We got totem. Totems are for uh, healing and uh, casting. Same with glove, and sa uh, same with the zither. This thing is really nice. I like the look of it. This reminds me of uh, what's that movie called? Um, Kung Fu Hustle, where the du the two blind guys are uh, using the uh, zither to attack the um, the crew. Yeah, that was, that was an awesome movie. All right. Plus, you got your armor set previews. Now, I don't like how games, like especially traditional Chinese or Japanese games, have wings like that. It kills the mood of the game. I mean, it's not traditional. You don't see people running around in ancient China or Japan with freaking wings on their back. You know what I mean? It just kills it. But it's all right. And you got your claw sets, fashion sets. It's these are just previews. It's not like you can pick this right away. It's just showing you what you can get in the game. Um, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is let's go ahead and start. So let me go ahead and pick my guy. All right, so here we are in the game. Um, let's go ahead and see what's going on here. Now, this game is very, very uh, PvP heavy. I mean, extremely PvP heavy. Um, they popped this new message up because people were canceling, thinking that cancel meant that you were PvP safe, but cancel means that you're not PvP safe. Uh, so they made this new uh, box, it looks like. Um, so let's go ahead and cancel. Because I am PvP, man. I'm PvP, son. Alright. So as you can already see, this game is graphically heavy. Uh, I don't know what the... Um, what is it? What, 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 what is it? What is it? The resolution is at right now, but... uh. Let me go ahead and change that really quick so it is what it's supposed to be at. You know what, I'm just going to leave it how it is. Alright, so... Let me go ahead and show you some of the aspects. I haven't played this game in forever, so I don't know my whole lineup here. I'm going to go ahead and look at this. These are the buffs. I remember that. I have all my buffs all on the top. Um, 
Do I have walk on water? Come. Oh, these are uh, heal and that kind of stuff. I don't know if I have walk on water or not with this guy. Fly like the wind. Leap to the clouds. So yeah, if you uh, boom, that's a pretty high jump. You know what I mean? And <laughs> And that's not even as high as you can go. You go extremely high. See, now it's back to normal, and that's my normal jump. I'm trying to see where Walk on Water is. Uh, is this it? Fly with the wind. Lightfoot. Because I don't have it. I thought I did. Oh, well. Alright. Uh, I can't show you Walking on Water. That sucks. Let me go ahead and check the skill sets really quick. I'm pretty sure I had it. Um, so since I'm in here, let me show you what this is all about. Uh, so you got your your main trees right here. You got your sword, your saber, your pole arm, which I'm pole arm. Your bow and your battle. Uh, I am pole arm saber because I'm a main tank. I got a crap load of hit points for this level. And my saber, I only, on the left side right here, is basically stat boost. See how it says strength plus 18, physical plus 18. And it's just it just boosts up your stats. It's all it does. So that's what I use that for. My pole arm is where I put everything into, like all my skills and stuff. And then you have battle, which is all the, um, all the, like, other stuff like leaping in the wind you know, all the generic stuff that everybody can get, like the healing and all that stuff. Now, I thought I had walking on water. Fly with the wind. No. Swallow flying south. No. Light changeable. I could have sworn... Trying to find it here, guys. I'm sorry about this. Uh, where is it? Ladder to the sky. Is that it? No. Is this it? Oh, there it is. Walking on water. Alright, so... For some reason, I can't get it. I should be able to, though. Oh, because I have no points. <laughs> Alright. Um, if I had points in it, I would be able to get walking on water, but I don't have any points in it. And basically, like, you swim in this game, right? So, if I come over here, I'll swim in the game. Like, la la la. Uh, I guess it's not deep enough. I'm trying to get some deeper action. Sorry, I'm taking forever explaining this one thing. <laughs> Alright, here's some deeper action. Alright. So you go ahead and you're swimming, right? Now that's... It's normal speed. It's not fast or anything. If I had that walking on water... Now, mind you, it doesn't last forever. It lasts as much as my stamina has. I can actually sprint. You will have this thing around on your uh, feet. I can sprint across the water and you'll see it. It's really cool. But enough about all this cosmetic bull crap. Let's go ahead and check out the game itself. Now, here's your stats. Um, it breaks everything down for you. Even your pluses on what you have on your gear and everything. Everything is broken down. It is really user friendly. And that aspect is really awesome. Even has your weapon damage output. Um, how much armor you got. Your movement speed. So if you have your movement speed up. Like, let's say I had a sprint on. This one was sprint. Bam. My movement speed jumped up to 150 instead of 100. Now, I do have a mount, but I don't think it's active anymore. Now, as like I was saying, on the uh, when you're moving, see the little splashes of that paint hitting the ground like, uh, like a brush is hitting it. That is really cool, you know what I mean? It's really artsy, this game. I mean, even the monsters, like look at this fox. It's like more like those, um, you know, those traditional you know style painted foxes it's not like a fox fox it's like someone painted that thing you know what I mean it's really cool they did a really good job on the graphics in this game but that being said let's keep going here 
all right so these this right here is your uh, fashion now you can actually take that off you can show your equipment mode which I'm gonna show my equipment mode this is my equipment it's like just some basic normal iron armor here steel helmet action I must have re-rolled my guy because this guy actually looks a little bit different than what I remember oh that's right all my stuff was gone <laughs> <I forgot. laughs> alright uh, here's your rank this has to do with um, your faction and everything and how much uh, points you have uh, arena like the uh, PvP stuff you know that kind of junk your titles there's a bunch of titles in this game and you can show them over your uh, heading right here your artifact this has to do with um so you get these things called artifacts I think it starts on level 30 I want to say and you can level them with you and as you level them the more uh, stats you get and you get these slots like each each one is different and they have different slots and each slot represents you know a different fighting style I think like wood is um uh, tanking either earth and wood or tanking I think wood is the tank that's why I have all these wood slots on mine um, but as you fill these slots in not only do the things itself give you something like uh, this wood bead right here gives me external attack increased by 90 but down here it's like a set so if I put in three beads I get a critical rate of 1% if I have four I get extra damage plus two, 10 and if I have 5, I get anti-chaos of plus 20. And as I'm filling in the slots individually, you get bonuses as well. So if I fill in this wood slot, I would get internal attack of plus 247. This one, internal defense of 208. This one, external defense of 208. And this one will give me a maximum hit points of 1610. That's a grip. So this looks more like a... Uh, tanking tanking one and you can upgrade your items that like give them pluses and everything so that's your character screen let's go ahead and look at the inventory really quick you have a lot of inventory slot spaces the only problem is you're only limited to I think one when you first start and then as you either progress in the game as you get certain items in the game you can unlock another row or you can buy them from the cash shop now that I do not like because space is extremely limited especially in your bank um, it's the same thing in your bank now way back when this game first started that's when I first started this game is when they uh, went from closed beta to open beta they have these things down here as you see um, your reward screen so as you're sitting here at a certain time you uh, you get a reward so like you sit in the game for an hour you get a reward you know what I mean these are uh, experience boosters or no revive lotuses excuse me revive lotus is if you uh, die in combat right where you're at you can use your revive lotus and uh, revive uh, right where you're standing um, and don't take as much penalty I think oh no it just gives you uh, 25 percent of your hit points and MP but um, back when this first started, they used to give you, when you uh, first made a new character, like you get a whole bunch of different, um, you know, rewards in the beginning. And I think at the two hour mark when you made a new character, you would get a bank slot item. That would open up a whole row of banks. So what people used to do, now by the way, your bank is shared across all characters. So what people used to do is make a new character, sit there for two hours, get the bank item, open the bank slot, delete the character, and then rinse and repeat until they had their entire bank open. Now that took a long time, but you know it was well worth it because you got, I think, 10 bank slots? You got more than this. It was like 10 of them plus uh, how many is there? So it's 20. So it's like 200 bank slots, you know what I mean? And uh, they they caught on to what people were doing and they they killed that real quick because they want people to actually pay for the bank slots you know what I mean like real cash so let's keep going here 
I showed you the talent tree, but let me go ahead and uh, cover it in detail. So you got your um, talents right here. Now your uh, tree, your certain trees will not open until you go on your tier buttons, which are on the uh, side right here. So if you get this tier right here, these two or these four will open, and uh, these two might not open unless you open these. But uh, this whole area right here is open when you open this one. Now once you put a point in this, all this is open, etc. You put a point in this, all this is open until you get, you know, more and more and more. That's why you see these are question marks because this is not open yet because I didn't put a point into this one yet. And it goes all the way down, down, down. And that's, a, that's the last tier for uh, pole arm. Um, so yeah, uh, the square ones are your actives. That's the ones you actually put on your bars and your circles are your passives. See, passives are here. Your production is your trade skilling. See, I'm uh, collecting, smelting, foraging. That's basically uh, blacksmithing, this right here. Um, so let's keep going. You got your quest log. Very easy quest log. Very awesome as well. Because not only do you have your quest log here that shows you, uh, you know, all your quests. I have a bunch of uh, green ones <laughs> or gray ones that I need to turn in. Uh, they're, they're even done too. That's crazy. But, um,. You got your available quests on the side right here. It shows you what you can get for your level and what you have not, uh, you know, got yet. The DA means dailies, so your dailies are, uh, you know, certain things like one of them is called treasure hunting. I think I forget the name of them. It's been so long, but uh, one of them you have to run around, get a treasure map, go to an area, and then uh, unleash a monster kill that monster go turn it in and you do that uh, 20 times per day and you get a whole lot of money like a crap load of money um CL I forgot what CL is OT I forgot what all these are uh, I don't remember I just know DA's daily I do apologize I don't know what the other ones are but yeah uh, everything is really you know user friendly it's really awesome Let's go ahead and keep on going down. You got your social. That's just basically your friends list and your blacklist. Now your blacklist, it will put the people that either that killed you, it will put them in your blacklist so you can get revenge on them. You know who killed you and you can know who to attack. And uh, your friends list, you know, it's just your friends list, but also the people that you ignore will be also be on your blacklist. Um, your guild, which we don't have probably anymore. I probably know there's probably no one in this guild. Oh my god, there is! Holy crap, <laughs> that's crazy. Seven months, yeah, but no one's played in a long time. Holy crap, look at that! Wow, people haven't played for seven, nine months. Seven months, all right. Huh. Spirit Beast. This is your pet, basically. This shows all your pets. This is my mount, but um, I don't think it has any more. Yeah, my life is zero hours. Uh, you get a mount when you first start the game, and it gives you a certain amount. Not when you first start. You have to go quest for it. I think it's like level 10, level 15 or something. But uh, you get a certain uh, life expectancy on it. I think it's like 24 or 48 hours. or No, no, it's like a week or something, I think, or maybe a month. But... Uh, when that runs out, you have no mount. You have to actually quest a mount in the game. Like, you have to buy one, or you have to buy one actually in the cash shop. Like, this game is heavily on cash shop. That's another reason why I didn't really, you know, play it for so long and quit. Uh, arena is PvP stuff. Dragon Blood. Can't do it. Trials. Oh, these are the things like achievements basically like if you do certain aspects in the game um, then you finish your trial and you'll get uh, rewards which is pretty awesome for instance uh, production journeyman upgrade any kind of production skills to level 4 and you'll get these two items uh, let's get close improve the reputation among any clan to close stage 3 spirit beast get any spirit beast to stage 3 like uh 
this is my uh, spirit beast right here. He's my pet. Now, he was not that big when I first got him. As you level him up and you uh, upgrade his stats and everything, your pet gets bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> he can get pretty huge. Uh, you know, level 50 milestone, you get these items, etc. You know, it's pretty cool that you can actually get that kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's free of charge. You don't got to do nothing, but do it. You know what I mean? Uh, what else we got? The menu. Not going to go too much into that. And, you know, your cash shop market item. Not going to go into that at all. Alright, so let's go ahead and actually get into some gameplay really quick. I'm in a really low area. I don't know why I'm in this area. It's like extremely low level. Uh, hold on, let me go ahead and put up my... um. What is that stuff? I forget what that stuff is called. You know the stuff? The stuff that's there? That stuff. Okay, that didn't work. Bear with me a second, guys. I'm trying to get the name over my uh, head really quick. Um, there we go. All right. As you can see, my name is White. That means I am in PvP mode. If my name was Green, I would not be in PvP mode. So I am the guild master of Sudakai, which means uh, Crane Clan in uh, Japanese. Uh, now, that's my title above there. Yes, it says Hot Body. I'm not trying to be like... Uh... <laughs> it's funny. The, the reason why I have that title is because it gives me uh, a huge stamina boost. And uh, I'm a, I'm a uh, tank. So, yeah. It's good to have that good stamina. Now, one thing, let me see if I can't get it to trigger. I don't think I'll be able to, though. Now, one thing when you're fighting, um, it is auto attack, but you have to spam your skills. And when you're doing certain stuff, like you see here, it has this uh, skill pop up. This window right here is like, if you're in a team, it's like a, a, a team, you know, type skill uh, trigger. Well, they have all the triggers for the whole team right there. And if you have that skill, you can trigger that skill at any time. Whoever, doesn't matter who actually triggered the skill to pop up in the window, you can actually finish it. It's like a finisher. It's pretty cool that they actually did that. Oh, I, oh my god, I actually got one to pop. Holy crap. <laughs> that, okay. That, I swear to god, that does not happen normally. I promise you that. So, in this game, there's not really, like, boss monsters throughout the world. Like, there, there's some of them. There, there is some. But there's stuff like this where if you kill a mob, it might spawn a boss version of that mob, which, which you just saw. Now, that's extremely rare. I can't believe that just happened like that. I killed two enemies and it happened. You know what I mean? That's insane. And when you kill it... Okay, I don't think I'm going to get any... No, I didn't get no loot from it. Because uh, I am way too high level. It was a level 11. But uh, when you loot it, a whole bunch of crap falls on the ground. I'm talking like 40 items. I'm not even playing with you. Like, if your inventory is not empty when you fight a boss monster, you're not going to be able to pick all that stuff up. And you better hope that there's no one around swarming your items. Because they will steal it. <laughs> and they will do it quick as hell. So, that was cool. I can't believe that actually happened. <laughs> Alright. So, let's go ahead and, um, I forget how to do some of this stuff. Give me one second here, guys. I'm trying to figure out how to actually get to the daily um, menu so I can show you that. Is it under a quest? Um, no. Maybe. No. Maybe. 
I don't think it is. Um, what the hell is it under? No, no, no. Mm, trials? No. Sorry about this, guys. I'm trying to figure this out. It's been so long. Uh, anyways, I can't figure out where this is. There's a menu where if you click on it, it'll pop up and it'll show you what dailies you can do still and all that stuff. Hold on. Let me go ahead through the uh, hot buttons here. Hold on. All right, I don't know what is going on with that. Uh, I don't want to waste too much more time. All right, well, anyways, if I actually knew what the button was, <laughs> I apologize with that. Um, anyways, when you pop that up, it shows you exactly, you know, what, how many more dailies you can do with this or what you have unlocked to do with that. Like if you have a raid cooldown or lockout or whatever. So... Overall, oh my god, it's a player. Can I kill you? Can I kill you? I want to kill you. Can I kill you? Ah, oh, you suck. Greeny. <laughs> Overall, the game is extremely awesome. It's heavily PvP based. If you don't like PvP games, I would definitely not recommend this game. Um, you can play it uh, PvE, but a lot of people, you know, end game do PvP in... Uh, you probably won't pick up a group unless you are in a PvP. But, um... Yeah, there's uh, also dungeons, instances, that sort of stuff. Maybe I, maybe I should just show you... I'm going to show you a dungeon really quick and then just call the video. But, graphic-wise, I give this a solid 9. I mean, the graphics on this game, whether you have a good computer, a bad computer, any kind of computer... The graphics look pretty good. Now, now you guys know my computer is really crappy, and it looks awesome. The graphics is extremely awesome. Uh, you know what? Actually, I probably don't have time to show you the dungeon because dungeons take a long time. But anyways, I'm going to show you the uh, where the first dungeon is. It's over here. You can see it in the background, that big old dragon mouth. There's an actual uh, one of the, Remember I told you there's actually world bosses that... Uh, are actually in the area already. Uh, one of them is actually in front of this dungeon. Um, let's go ahead and see if he's not there. I'll just wipe him out really quick and call it a day. But uh, graphics, I'll give it a definite solid 9. Really awesome. Oh, also you can get a mentor in this game. and There's just so much content. I wish I could just show you everything. But I just, in this video, I just don't <laughs> have time to do it. Um... Yeah, here he is. Oh, he's gray. There's no point of attacking him. I'll kill him anyways. I'll just start whacking on him while I'm uh, finished talking. But, uh... Wow, I'm not doing no damage to him. <laughs> yeah, bosses are crazy hard. As you can see right here, it says a leader. That's a boss. A captain is a boss. And then you have, you know, your normal uh, mobs and stuff. But, uh... Gameplay-wise... I'll give it a good 7. It's not, you know, phenomenal, but it plays really smooth, really well. Um, user-friendly, I'll give it a 10. You, you can't get any more user-friendly in this game. It's Everything is, you know, pointed out to you. Uh, it has auto-pathing. You know, the user interface is really easy to read. It has everything broken down for you. There's no questions that needs to be an asked. Uh, you have everything just right there in front of you and you're good to go. Um, 
I know there's a couple things that I haven't brought up that I was trying to look for while going through the user interface, but all that stuff is actually taught to you in the tutorial. So I mean, once you learn it, you won't need it again, except for you know my lame brain <laughs> forgot after you know a year. Yeah, I haven't played this for like a year, but uh. So yeah, let me let me do some combos. Let me do some combos. Little combo action. Now, if I, the only thing graphical wise that I wish that it showed more of is um, effects with your skills and stuff, which it doesn't really show. It's hard to see them actually doing anything except for that you saw me pressing the uh, hotkey buttons on the bottom. Um, so you actually knew that I was uh, doing stuff. But, I mean, if you just was looking at the video and didn't see the hotkeys on the bottom, like getting uh, timed then you wouldn't think I was doing anything. Uh, this is my uh, normal attack. He does, does two hits and then a twirl smack. That's it. Um, but as you can see, as I do other stuff, like if I hit two, he does a little charge back. If I hit three, he does some other smacking thing. Do a little five action. A little four because it popped up. Boom. Little thunder hits. Thunder smacks. Dig em smacks. Do a couple of these, a couple of those, you know. Do a little of that, a little of this. Bam, and you dead. And you drop nothing because I'm too high level. But yeah, this is the uh, first instance right here. But yeah, uh, game is really awesome, guys. You should check it out. I didn't do the game justice from what I was uh, talking about. I wish I'd... Uh, had more time to actually do it, but I don't. It's probably already running to like 40 minutes on this video. Um, so yeah, you should guys should check it out. It's a uh, Wusha game from Gamago. And have fun with your MMO Monday. Alright guys, I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace.